Sharon, you are the spawn of the devil. As you spew forth your venom, your lies. You mock Elizabeth Elijah and say you have so many names. Prove it. Why you have all these names and all this other nonsense. If you bother to go to the website and really find out the truth about her names, then you would have found it for this common knowledge, for those that have followed this ministry and have read her testimony, why she used her middle name as her first name, her middle name Sherry. It is because she hated her first name. She hated her maiden name. Elizabeth, because her mother, before she abused her and assaulted her, would always call her Elizabeth. But Yahweh God has given her a mandate, and she had to obey that mandate as he spoke through several prophets that more anointing would be in her maiden name, Elizabeth. And that is why she obeyed and started using the name Elizabeth again. She chose for a certain period of time to use the name Sherry. That's no crime. Is that a crime? I don't think so. Sharon, we laugh at your so-called proof from a website, from enemies that hate, for instance, for instance, the stand we take on the Sabbath day, and all this other nonsense that you're speaking about our ex-site web manager. Sharon, you should know how easy it is to speak forth a lie without proof. You bring up this nonsense about her ex-website manager, Chuck Wilson, that Elizabeth Elijah encourages to divorce and things like that. First of all, Chuck Wilson is none of your business. You're wondering where he is. Chuck Wilson doesn't even know you. Chuck Wilson doesn't even want to know you. So what is it of your business where he is? He divorced a control freak of a wife who was Catholic unequally yoked, who gave him five dollars lunch, money a week, abused him, assaulted him physically, emotionally, drove him almost to the point of suicide. He came to this ministry for counsel. Yes, this ministry has enemies. So does any holy ministry have enemies. Yahushua HaMashiach concerning these marriages. He is using his dividing sword to separate his sheep and lambs of the goats of Satan, especially in these last days, in which it is dangerous to be unequally yoked with a spouse that serves Satan. The saddest part of all this are the women that come to Elizabeth Elijah, abused emotionally, mentally, physically, as the husband taunts them for the loyalty to Yahushua HaMashiach. These are not marriages in Yahushua HaMashiach's eyes. He's going to use his dividing sword to separate that which his hand never put together. But the spirit of lust, the hand of lust, did it. Their own flesh did it. He came to set the captives free, who are in unequally yoked bondage. Now the holy people think that they will have to suffer because they signed a piece of legal paper in the world's eyes. It is not a marriage in heaven's eyes. The Bible says, be ye not unequally yoked. Now these women have to know that it is not Yahushua's will. And some men have to know that this is not Yahushua's will for them to suffer any longer. Or to be unequally yoked any longer. Then the world's eye that is called divorce. But it's a decision between God and that person. Now Yahushua HaMashiach, the son of God, was lied about, slandered, persecuted. And although he was perfect in all his ways, he was accused of the crime of blasphemy. It was Yahushua, the Son of God, that called his apostles and told them to quit their jobs and leave their families. We live the gospel. Do you? We believe, John and Sharon, it is you that uses the occult. And as you say it, Concerning covering our butts, we think it is you that try to cover your butts by attacking this ministry. And the only way you can do that is trying to stone the messenger, the woman that Yahweh and Yahushua use and have used to birth this ministry through. Your slanderous lies, your venom, 
have reached the ears of Yahweh God. He is furious and you will reap what you have sowed if you do not repent. And that is destruction. First to your flesh, then to your soul. It is you that stinks, not this ministry. Events were prophesied through Elizabeth Elijah years in advance before they came to pass. There's so much proof for the holy prophecies that are backed up with scripture that the proof is being worked on daily on the website because it is so much. But even that you will probably mock. How sad it is that you have declared war on this, min on this ministry out of jealousy, out of covetousness, mocking Elizabeth Elijah, calling her a liar because she has a testimony that she saw Yeshua and that all the angels visited her, gave her a message and she touched their wings. Who are you to say that this is a lie? You do not know anything about Elizabeth Elijah. Elizabeth Elijah tried to get to know you as a friend. Instead, you rebuked her for rebuking a young man who just blasphemed the Holy Spirit in a video and mocked Yahweh God, the Heavenly Father having Yahweh confess to sins. Now you rebuked Elizabeth Elijah and you took all of your comments down as you started out helping us, rebuking this young man who mocked all that was whole. And you started making excuses for this man calling him a boy as if he hasn't, hasn't um, passed the age of accountability yet as if Yahweh God is a respecter of persons. And on top of all this, you began blaming others for what this young man had done, whom you call a boy. You started blaming Elizabeth Elijah for making him angry and manipulating into a situation in which he would blaspheme the Ruach HaKodesh so that we could hate again. He even started, started uh, accusing Yon Basha for getting demon possessed. Oh, it wasn't the boy that did it, it was the demons that did it. But I guess you still have not remembered that scripture of the man who had a legion of demons in the Bible who still cried out to Yahushua and knew that he needed deliverance. The reprobate man's username that we are talking about is virtual at 06 and his real name is Dean. As you defend a reprobate soul who just made his abode in hell and then the lake of fire, you trash a holy ministry and a holy prophet and you have proven that you truly serve Satan and we are exposing you now. Now also for the ones who do not know this, this all started out when Cat Peering 123, one of the fathers of this ministry, rebuked one of your false doctrines, twisted doctrines, John and Sharon. And he made a video about that. But in that video he never attacked your name, your character, or your reputation. Yet you make hateful videos to the ones that disagree with you, or putting the words out, attacking them, shun them before YouTube friends. Now we, you know, we agree in one thing and that is that, that Jan Bashaf needs to be exposed. We agree. But even that we believe and think that this is a trick of the devil of good guy versus bad guy. Because both of you are satanic plants out here to deceive Yahushua's little ones, Christians, as they use evil spirits, occult, mind control, mind manipulation, and mind caging as John uses his eyes and Shara now uses her voice and her eyes. Darkness is all around you and on your face.